Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am very excited for today's video because I've actually been holding off from doing this for a long time. I actually got this belt a couple weeks ago and I have been saving it to do an unboxing here with you guys because I felt like you would enjoy doing an unboxing together with me. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. So I have here with me a little bag from Dior. If you guys watch my stories, then you'll probably have known that I went shopping at Dior a couple of weeks ago and I scooped up a little something and I didn't reveal anything yet on my Instagram as to what it is that I got. Though I just realized that I did also just mention that I got a belt. So you guys will see which belt I got in a couple of minutes once I show you what's exactly inside this bag. So long story short, I actually tried on this belt with Mel back in London of last year. Actually around this time of the year, I think it was, or early September. Yeah, it was earlier in September when we went to go visit our friend Camilla and I ended up actually going home with a strap instead of the belt because I really needed a strap for my saddlebag and I felt like that would be a more logical purchase at the time. But when I tried on the belt, uh, it like it got to me. It was one of those belts where when you put it on, you're like, I need to have have it and I think I'm like a Dior girl through and through after trying on a bunch of different other brands like don't get me wrong I love Chanel I love Louis Vuitton and Hermes and all the other brands out there but at the heart and soul of it every time I walk into a Dior I want everything that's on the shelves I can't say the same for the other brands most of the stuff I do want but there's a lot of things that I'm like mm doesn't really speak to me. Anything about Dior though, just like come to me, give me more. So when I put in this belt, I instantly fell in love with it. And my friend Tiffany from Montreal also has the exact same belt. And whenever I see her with it, I'm like, it is scrumptious. This belt is like chef's kiss. So I knew we wanted to get it for myself. And I've been saving up for it for a little while now. And I finally got it in my hands. Normally by this time of the year, we would typically be traveling quite a bit, either for our fall solo trip that Mel and I usually go on, just the two of us in the fall time. And then by now actually we'll be going on our winter holiday trip. So I figured with all the money saved from not going on these trips, I can afford to indulge in a couple of things for myself here and there. And this belt was definitely one of them. So I'm very excited to show you guys what's in here and what the belt actually looks like. So let's go in and open the box together. This is probably not going to be a cute unboxing just because I don't know how to do it. I'll see if I can do a cute unboxing for you guys and show you what it looks like but otherwise this is it so first off you have this beautiful little white bag as always with dior they're always presented so nicely i love it and they always come with like a little bow on the side there was a little star ornament um dangling on here but i actually took it off because it was making a lot of noise it was getting really annoying so i took it off and put out the rest of mine funny story i don't know if i've ever told this on youtube yet but when I bought my saddlebag last time in Amsterdam, I went home and I actually kept the star ornament that they give you inside of the bag. And when I went through customs and security, they actually pulled me aside and inspected my bag because the star was inside of there and they asked me if I was concealing a weapon, like a ninja star. I was like, no, what are you talking about? And they took it out and realized it was just an ornament from Dior. So if you guys ever get an ornament from Dior, make sure you put it away into your checked luggage or you leave it at home because you may get called over and search for it because they think it's a weapon. Anywho, we're gonna go right in and open it right up. I always feel so bad when I take these apart because everything's packaged so beautifully, but I guess that's part of the experience when you unbox things from designer brands. So first thing at the top is they have this little piece of tissue paper that I guess kind of always covers whatever's inside, so you can't really see what's in there. And then the most beautiful box that I've ever seen in my life. This is the box that the belt came in. It's a little bit tricky to take out. Look at this magnificentness. Like, what in the world? How is this designed and how do I get this onto my wallpaper at home? This is stunning. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this box afterwards. I'm just gonna keep it. It's gonna be a display piece after this. But we're gonna go ahead and take off the ribbon. I usually like to just like pop it off so I can put them back on. I don't like having to tie up the ribbon back again afterwards. I feel like I don't have the patience for that. So ribbon is off and we're now going to open this. Dun, 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 dun. Are you guys ready for it? The lid is off. And inside is the dust bag that the belt comes in. And this is the beautiful dust bag that the belt comes in. Like, look at this font. Ah, oh, isn't she gorgeous? I love it. It's a beautiful white bag with the gold Dior in the front. Are you ready for it? Ta-da! This is the giant, big, fat, oblique belt. So this belt is called the Dior Quake belt in the large. I believe there is a slimmer version, but I got the thicker one just because I wanted more of a statement belt that I could wear with my jackets, belt in my dresses, sweaters, that sort of thing. And I have so many slim profile belts already that I knew that this would be a great addition to my closet. And like I said, I'm a Dior girl through and through. So I'm very excited to be adding this one to my closet now. So size wise for this one is the 75. I believe that's in inches of around your waist. I primarily wanted a belt that could be tight enough for me to 
wrap around my waist either sitting on its own without a thick layer underneath and also one that had enough grommet holes in it so that it could be loose enough for me to wear over top of jackets as well afterwards and this one definitely does a trick I am so happy with this it's a giant D in the center obviously if you're not familiar with you are probably like why is she wearing a belt that has a D on it instead of her own initial um, it's just signature to the brand it's a D I love it I think it's so freaking beautiful I actually sold my Gucci belt no I sold it and then the person returned it because they didn't like what they saw in the belt. So I'll be reselling and relisting that again on my Poshmark. If you guys are actually interested, um, send me a message or comment down below with your email and I'll send you details on the belt because I'm currently selling my Gucci Mormont belt that I no longer wear ever anymore. So there's no point in keeping it. And this was in replacement of that belt. I am so in love with this one. So as you can see, it has a gold metal detailing finish up here where the D is and the rest of it is just black leather. And then there are five grommet holes at the end here for you to adjust with and the belt tapers off into a little angle at the top. The inside just says Christian Dior in gold right here. And then you also have the belt buckle to help keep the end of the belt in place here like this. On the inside on the back here, it does say the size. It just says made in Italy. Um, I think it's the date and the batch number and it says 75 so that you know it's a 75 size for the belt and that is essentially it. I'm gonna put the belt together for you guys on here just to show you what it looks like and then I will show you what the belt looks like in a cutaway afterwards. This is what the belt essentially looks like once it's been put on to somebody as like a quick reference right here on my waist. I love the simplicity of this belt and I love how it's more like an accent piece than anything and it really helps to pull together a really simple outfit. I can envision myself wearing a nice simple black wool overcoat with this over top and it's gonna look amazing. I'm actually very very happy with this purchase and I've been eyeing this for so long. It's been over a year so I'm so happy that I finally have this and uh, I can just like imagine myself wearing this with so many different outfits already and I can't wait to start wearing it. I'm not gonna lie when I say it's not exactly the most practical belt because in regards to putting it on these grommets are quite thick and there's not a lot of space in the center of the D here for you to like push it through so you can kind of like have a tough time trying to push it through when you're trying to feed the end of the belt through there but once you get the hang of it it's quite easy it's just the first couple of times you have to get used to how the belt maneuvers material wise it is a fairly soft calf skin so you do have to make sure that you're not going to get scratches on it although I don't really foresee myself getting scratches on this belt besides where I loop it through the belt buckle and maybe it'll stretch the leather a little bit here and there but otherwise it's fairly resistant in terms of like scratches and nicks besides knocking up against something or like if you're just leaning against a brick wall and you're wearing the belt on the outside of a jacket. So I'm very very happy with this purchase. I'm so excited for this. I have some other unboxings as well that I don't know if I want to unbox on my channel with you guys or not. So let me know in the comments down below if you liked videos like this and if I should do more of them with you guys. It was so much fun to be able to open this up with you on here and it just felt weird holding off wearing an item until I was able to unbox it in YouTube first because I've never done that before but I just found that it was so exciting to be able to do this with you guys on here virtually as if we're like friends unboxing something together. Let me know if you guys already have this belt or something similar to it or any of the other Dior belts. I just I love the craftsmanship and quality of this and the simplicity of it and how well it's going to suit the rest of my closet and I'm just so excited to be able to wear it now. If you guys like these videos like this, like I said, please let me know. So I'll be sure to film more unboxings together with you guys in the future. I have a couple of other things that I probably I don't know I feel bad doing something like this on my channel because I know I don't really like flaunt my designer purchases but I've probably acquired a couple in the past month alone so let me know if you would like me to do something like a designer haul mm, I don't know I always feel really uncomfortable with stuff like that if you guys would like it though I can definitely do it otherwise if you would rather not see that then please let me know as well and I'll make sure to not include that in any of my videos because I do want to be respective of you guys and what you think that you like to enjoy seeing from my channel. But otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and unboxing this Dior Quake belt with me. I'm so excited to get this up in rotation into my closet. And I can't wait for you guys to see what sort of outfits I create together with this one on my Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed in the meantime seeing how I styled this in the cutaways of this video. And hopefully if you've had your eye on this belt, um, stay tuned because I will be doing a review of it once I've had the chance to wear out a little bit more and letting you guys know my full thoughts on this belt and whether or not I think it's actually worth it to purchase and to pick up once I've had the chance to really wear it a little bit more. But if you guys have already worn this belt and you own it, let me know your thoughts on it as well so I know what to anticipate. But besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. If you're not already following me on social, you can check me out on Instagram here and on TikTok here. I post way more frequently than on YouTube so you can follow along and see me get up to like weird shenanigans with people. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video and hope you have an amazing day. Bye!